And you know, how do you really propose to do so? Where, you know, which are going to be the biggest pressure points within the cost? Uh, uh, at, uh, at this element? point, if you take any project, uh, there are the key cost elements are uh, capital goods as well as uh, construction. Hmm. The engineering per se in the overall context of cost is uh, just about 10%. So that doesn't make any uh, big impact. But having said that, uh, capital goods, there is, a, there is an issue. Uh, uh, there are very few large manufacturing companies like Larson Tubro or Godridge in this country. Hmm. For a country of this dimension and the growth aspirations, we don't have enough large players who have got the scale, who have got the efficiency level, who have got the management skills, the technical competencies to deliver uh, first class quality products in time. Mm -hmm. uh, we have seen this uh, recently in the uh, power sector. Huge orders have been placed in China and elsewhere, substantially in China, because uh, uh, the, the, uh, they, they were able to deliver within the cost parameters as well as uh, within time. Mm -hmm. uh, the Indian suppliers are overloaded. So there is obviously a need for substantially increasing our capabilities. Mm -hmm. Now there are many ways of doing it. One of the, one of the options mentioned uh, in the earlier discussion today was uh, forming clusters, manufacturing clusters, so that every manufacturer doesn't end up doing every uh, element of work. Mm -hmm. the, there is a certain amount of work sharing and optimization taking place. Uh, there is also optimization of investment, for instance, uh, uh, plate rolling machines, uh, large, high, high, high uh, thick uh, uh, plate rolling machines won't have to be built, you know, they bought by every, every manufacturer. There can be a specialist company that does that and everyone else can send the plates across a kilometer, half a kilometer within the cluster and get that work done. So there is a, the, there, we need a different, different, very different approach to capital goods manufacture. In fact, Mr. Vekhutramar, let me get you in because uh, during our previous discussion you were saying that, you know, in 2020 there, be, there will be many other uh, LNTs. But the thing is that we haven't seen too many LNTs, at least in the last 10 years. You continue to be the, uh, the dominant player. So, um, you know, really, uh, and clearly you do need more players because, uh, you know, the market is, is only growing. So, you know, cost was one of the elements which, of course, large integrated companies like you have an advantage. But um, would you perhaps like to add to that in, in yeah. terms of changing the dynamics? See, uh for example, I'll just uh, talk of the power sector because it's a very glaring example of uh, when we have, have such a big plan on the power sector, obviously a lot of good Indian companies will, other, who are not there in it before will definitely like to enter. Mm. Now, the Indian taxation structure is uh, one of the most complicated structures in the world. So you have on one side the custom duty, which is handled at a particular governmental level, and then you have a lot of other taxes like works contract tax and sales tax and all which is handled at a state level. So today, uh, I mean, Mr. Anto and all of us who are part of the industry, we are not asking for or anything that is favorable, but at least should be level. So today you reduce the custom duties, which were very high once upon a time to zero on one side, but the various other Indian duties have, are very much there because they are controlled by different states. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the incentive for somebody to come and invest in 200, 300 million dollars that it takes to set up a manufacturing facility is very risky. Mm -hmm. In spite of that, many companies like ours have taken a calculated risk because we believe in the Indian story and we believe that some sort of understanding will come and because you cannot the mother industry in any part of the world is the capital goods industry so you cannot put the whole strategic future of a great country like ours at stake in imagining that a good part of this crucial sector which creates jobs which creates capability uh, will be just for a short term gain be allowed to be totally imported or discourage the Indian investment so Mr. when Haran, I said you no had, so when uh, I yeah. said that many more companies will come, they will come because finally there will be an understanding on this and companies are coming even today, especially in the power sector, there are more than other than LNT which has come into power, there are a couple of more companies that are coming in because the government has a very good long term plan and that is produced here. In the short term plan it takes a lot of 
bargaining and dialoguing, I guess, between them and the states to sort out this taxation issue. The economics of cricket is ready to hit an all-new high this season. Presenting the business of cricket, a weekend special show all through this cricketing season. Now we'll keep an eye on the ratings than on the run. Four tabs that will fly out of the stadium into your drawing room. And a scoreboard that will pop odds and evens on the most prolific scorer. Cricket Girls commercial this season, only on PT Now. Brought to you by Hyundai New Thinking, New Possibilities. Star Union Daichi, Sunera Kal Suraksha Harpal. I know the seas and I know the skies. I know enough to know that you've got to be mine. Cause... IIFL. Knowledge is the edge. Ms. Santa, uh, let me start with you. Uh, in terms of the specific commitment that you as a company and in representing your industry are planning to do in gearing up for 2020. Our company is committed to set up a, a whole new facility to cater to this demand and uh, the size of the investment is indeed very large. Uh, so that's the kind of growth story in India that we are betting and also we are betting on the technology capability of this country and its engineers to be able to take these products out to the rest of the world. What is Reliance going to do? Are you, are you planning to set up colleges, go and partner with the ITIs? We have multiple uh, uh, approaches. Number one is, our own, you know, we are getting into the education field and setting up our own colleges and uh, having control on those engineering uh, uh, the colleges with quality engineering, etc. But apart from that, because before even the colleges come and uh, we have already uh, launched a program by which we take young engineers, grill them through this training course in all facets of the business. Mm. You know, engineers going through um, uh, accounting and business side uh, training. So, so clearly, your focus is going to be on developing and developing institutions and training uh, or rather bridging the talent deficit which you believe uh, Correct. exists. Okay. And also retaining the talent. Retaining most important. Most important. Okay. Mr. Venkatraman? Yeah, see we uh, right starting at the craft level we are increasing the amount of investment that we are doing in building more skill development centers. Mm -hmm. You know because we are pioneers in that as part of the construction management institute. As far as the other part of formalized uh, development, apart from the increase in the involvement with ITIs, hmm. we also, LNT already has an engineering college, a diploma college, which we are now increasing in other locations. The third part, which is the most uh, important uh, part, is we are partnering with many institutes in funding innovation through partnerships in technology development, and also in these scholarships that I talked about, like Build right. India and all, which you are further increasing the, uh, let's say the... Uh, okay, the that, that, that's in and, the talent training. And the last, uh, and the other important uh, part, we, set, we have set up our own project management institute, okay. which will be thrown open after we have stabilized it over five years, because we feel that there is no real institute in this country which exclusively specializes in project management as a skill. Mm -hmm. So we set this up at our knowledge city in Baroda, but most important, to gear up to 2020, we're trying to build a leadership engine in the company. Okay. Uh, Mr. Paul? We are, we, we, our aspiration is to be a global uh, player. And talent uh, uh, development and retention, obviously, will be a core function in that. Uh, project execution capability, really, really uh, uh, drilling that in, into the mindsets of all of our uh, colleagues. Uh, will be a major element in that. Uh, that's what our aspiration is. And finally, uh, we are gearing up to serve uh, large projects with a um, multi-company approach. As uh, 
Mr. Nan already mentioned er earlier that we can do all over the world engineering for India and the large projects which will come up. That we have excellent project management that is, I think, very important and don't compromise at all on safety and environment. Okay, right. Uh, so we've had uh, different stakeholders uh, expressing their points of view and uh, clearly 2020, that journey to 2020 is going to be an exciting one filled with opportunities but also perhaps uh, um, many uh, challenges as well uh, whether it is uh, inflation the talent deficit uh, that exists the rising competition uh, within uh, the market and from other players which are coming in so clearly there are many challenges but of course opportunities galore on that note many thanks for joining us uh, for this discussion we really appreciate uh, the time and the patience that you've shown in walking us uh, through some of the key issues uh, facing industry and that brings us uh, to to the end of this special show brought to you from Chemtech, uh, focusing on gearing up for 2020. Thanks for watching. Chemtech Foundation, inspiring intelligence, igniting innovation. The reason was younger people, youngest population, if their intelligence uh, is not ignited, innovation will not come. And this aspect is fundamental. Now, as we go forward, we are going to say Camp Tech exhibitions believe built with passion and commitment. Presenting ACs with interchangeable color panels. Now you can be even more amazing with Electrolux. I'm of the conviction that quality of your future actually depends on the quality of your imagination today. Governments now, after the last meltdown, find that their intervention in business is much more legitimized. What will come out uh, in terms of the silver lining will be more transparent governance uh, for India. of cricket is ready to hit an all-new high this season presenting the business of cricket a weekend special show all through this fifteen season now we'll keep an eye on the ratings than on the run four tabs that will fly out of the stadium into your drawing room and the scoreboard that will pop odds and evens on the most prolific scorer cricket girls commercial this season only on PT now Brought to you by Hyundai New Thinking New Possibilities Star Union Daichi Sunera Kal Suraksha Harpal Paisun se khilone khadide jate hain Dost nahi Isi liye to IDBI Bank ne charges hata liye hain Savings aur current accounts ke liye IDBI Bank Kyunki aapke paisun se bada kar hain Aap वो वक्त आ गया है जब डिजाइनर्स को मिलेगा रेड कार्पेट का पहला अनुभव लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन प्लीज वेलकम आरती छाबरिया यस दिस इज समथिंग आई वुड वेयर आई थिंक इट्स वेरी सेक्सी कौन बना पाएगा द परफेक्ट रेड कार्पेट गाउन व्हिच ऑफ दीस नाइन डिजाइन विल बी अ पासपोर्ट फॉर द ग्रैंड फिनाले देखिए कॉटन काउंसिल इंटरनेशनल प्रेजेंट्स लेट्स डिजाइन सीजन 3 टुनाइट 9 पीएम ओनली ऑन Zoom Color dreams from Gandhi New Pants. Papa, you are in the house. I am in the Hundreds and hundreds. And in a week? In a little bit of hundreds. And in a day? In a little bit of hundreds. Give me one day, please. Please. ऐसे ही बजाज आलियांस कैश रिच के छोटे प्रीमियम दें बड़े रिटर्न्स सालों साल एसएमएस करो कैश 56070 पर और जियो बेफिकर विमेन एट वर्क प्लेस एंड होम री इन्वेंट ऑपरचुनिटीज लुकिंग एट विमेन एम्पावरमेंट थ्रू अ न्यू लेंस द कंट्री नीड्स टैलेंट अवेलेबिलिटी एंड दैट इज वेयर विमेन हैव अ रोल टू प्ले एक्सेंट्रो एंड इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स प्रेजेंट री इन्वेंट ऑपरचुनिटी लुकिंग थ्रू अ न्यू लेंस a celebration of 100 years of International Women's Day, empowering women for a high-performance nation. Only on ET Now.
brought to you by Accenture high performance delivered this is the times television network and you're watching 